Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. We're back with a new free-to-play collection guide. You may remember my last. We're going to complete your collection for free here today. One million gold in under 10 minutes. It's updated because the economy, right? We've changed everything from the top down. We have the tabernacle of contents for you today. We're going to go through the intro, beginner tips and tricks, quests and re-rolling, game modes and formats, rare drafting, farming projections, coming totally free to play. What is Premier Play? <laughs> the news and announcements, and of course, our outro. So buckle up, get ready, make sure to like that video to help support the channel, and let's uh, you know talk a little bit about where we've been since this last video. Came out. Well, we have 2,000 uploads and nearing 900,000 gold. We've hit all of our ranks. 420, 69, and even reaching rank number one, holy Toledos. So where do you start as a new player? Well, you'll get some free decks as you play the game. It's as easy as that. And then we're gonna upgrade those decks for you in a new playlist coming out soon. We'll also have access to the one-time purchase starter bundle. I think this is a very, very good value. Just don't spend the gems. We have a ton of quests in the bottom of your screen. Uh, as we'll show in a second when we re-roll, which is more important than what the quests are. We don't really care what they are, but we want to show them anyways. The most important part is if you have a 500 quest here, you click that little button and you re-roll it to 750. If you have multiple quests, don't complete 500s. You can leave them for the day if you have spare slots and re-roll them on the next day. Only complete them if you have a full quest bar or it is the weekly reset. Okay, so you'll want to, as a beginner, keep track of everything. Be as aware as possible. You do this through a deck tracker, seeing what your build is, you know, tracking your land draw rate, uh, your stats. That's the most important part of this whole scenario. There's just some extra goodies around the edge, which is really cool. You can see the meta decks, what other people are playing, uh, this and that, right? So this is untapped.gg. You can download it for free in my link tree. Just Google Hello Good Game link tree, or there's a link in the description below. So that is doing just like a ton of things. Today, we're really only worried about tracking our win rate in uh, all of the different formats, game modes, and with different decks, right? So here are the different formats. We have them split into two, constructed and limited. Limited is anything that you'll open packs with and make a deck with on the spot. It's a 40 card deck. Constructed is a 60 card deck, which you're gonna make ahead of time with cards from your entire collection which is really cool. So we really recommend uh, that you're farming through the quick draft. Uh, if you are looking to complete your set as a uh, free to play individual, you're just getting into it. You're learning the format, uh, this and that, right? So that's going to have really good returns. It's better to go zero and three in a quick draft than to spend those gems on packs. Okay. And then we'll have just our regular event, whether it be historic alchemy, um, explorer, this, that, the different modes, right? Of course. And then the traditional, uh, versions of that, which is best of three. So Historic and Alchemy are the digital formats. Explorer and Standard are the paper formats. Uh, the digital formats have new cards that are balanced, which is really cool. Uh, and then the paper formats will be tried and true tabletop, right? But that's what we have going on there. Of course, there's a, a little bit more to touch on that within the competitive structure, but we'll get to that after. First, it's the spreadsheet. So the only thing you need to know here is to enter your win rate, which we use the deck tracker uh, to track up, uh, put that in there, and it's gonna give you your projections. You know, what is your return on investment through that specific event? We have all the different events here, which is really cool. There's some additional information uh, as well, just to keep it fresh in your mind about re-rolling that quest, about rare drafting, and about reinvesting. Uh, so again, here is the deck tracker. Uh, we'll keep track of our stats because it's not just drafting. Like I said, it's the standard event, the alchemy event, all these uh, other events that we can farm currency through uh, that we'll want to make sure that we are competitive enough uh, through past results, as well as meeting our requirements on return on investment through the event, which is really cool. So I love untap.gg. You can see even how you've edited the deck through the past and make sure that you're playing with the best version. However, we'll be primarily drafting uh, within the collection of our set. We're gonna be doing that with a few tricks. You can uh, utilize first and foremost guides and gameplay of other creators to familiarize ourselves with the different archetypes and the meta as a whole. And then we're gonna save 80,000 gold roughly and quick draft the newest set. 
Uh, staying current in standard is a nice way to remain competitive in these other events we're going to talk about. And then you can branch out into uh, older sets as you accumulate uh, excess resources. You're going to rare draft. We talked about this already, you know, taking all of the rares, uh, leaving your unopened packs until they match, which is really cool. Uh, abusing the quick draft bots, you know, uh, the computer is not the greatest at picking cards, so you can really build a tuned deck. And that comes into uh, the guides and gameplay where you know the meta, you know what build you want to do, uh, and you can assemble those really powerful comments and uncommons to help you. You can also use that direct deck tracker and draft helper. Uh, we need one word for that, you know? Uh, this is, again, going to keep you very aware of everything that's going on. Remember your bread, bombs, removal, evasion, aggro, dirt for your pick priority. And then, like I said, track that win rate, right? That's going to help you through your future projections via the spreadsheet. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then we'll move on to the premier play. Uh, this is the competitive structure for Magic the Gathering Arena, all available digitally from the comfort of your own home. Uh, on the bottom level of this pyramid that you'll work your way up through is the qualifier play in events. These are different formats. Twice a month, you can spend play in points, which you'll get through farming events. You can also spend your gold and gems to participate if you do well or complete uh, the Mythic season in the top 250, you'll gain access to the Qualifier Weekend, uh, which is quite cool. And then again, doing well here, finally getting yourself into the Arena Championship. Uh, the top 32 players, $200,000 in prizes every four months. So play in points, farming events, also finishing in the top 1,250 Mythic at the end of the season will net you 20 points. You can participate in the Qualifier Weekend by paying 20 play-in points, woof, or being in the top 250 at the end of the season. And then, you know, you have to be super skilled. There's no cheating your way into the arena championship by being in the top 250, uh, grinding it out just obsessively, which I'm guilty of sometimes, right? Uh, but, you know, it, take, it is what it is, and it takes what it takes. Uh, of course, the qualifier weekend can gain you access to the Pro Tour. The Arena Championship, as well as the Pro Tour, can gain you access to the World Championship, which are the tabletop format. So you will have to leave your basement. I <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I know, I know. Me too. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, to partake in these events, overcome some anxiety. But, you know, if you do have the opportunity, uh, you're doing it, right? So this is super exciting with that premier play. And then, you know, how to complete any set. Let's just recap here. 15 wins a day, $50 in gems, plus your pre-orders. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You know, that's going to get your set done. Four wins a day plus your rare drafting. That seems a little bit more uh, achievable. Keep in mind, those drafts will take some time to complete. So you do have to have uh, some spare time here. And then, you know, if, if you're just lazy bones, zero wins a day, $300 in packs. And that should uh, complete the majority of your set for you there as well, right? So other than that, you know, how are we staying informed? Uh, keeping up to date through the archive. All of the articles that Wizard puts out for their different products and, uh, uh, you know, things like this, we can stay up to date with here. The uh, news and announcements, the ban restrictions, uh, spoilers, everything is available within the archive, which is quite cool. And then we're taking a look at the YouTube page here, you know, staying up to date with all of my content, all sorted into nice playlists. So if you're looking for a specific um, format deck, staying up to date with the latest and greatest there. Of course, you know, if you're looking for something that you don't see right away, you can search it. There's a search bar. Whether you're looking for a deck archetype, is it Golgari, Demir, whatever it happens to be, even blue and black, uh, if you don't know your archetypes yet, you can search it in the bar. You can also search card names, and it'll come up with a list of decks that incorporate that, which is really cool as well. Um, so through all of this, you know, you're going to have a blast playing Arena. And uh, that brings me to the next video is we'll be talking about what can we do with Arena. I say we, but you know who we mean, wizards, wizards. What are you guys going to do to make Magic the Gathering Arena the best game of 2023? So don't miss out on that as well. All of the you know links and materials you'll need will be in the description below. So grab those. Of course, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments and I'll do my best uh, to answer them all. Thank you all so much uh, for watching, being a part of this journey. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Have an absolute magical day, and we'll catch you soon. Next.